In today's video, we'll be looking at using VR in After Effects and how to use it in a sort of graphic design capacity. I'll be making something similar to what we see on screen right now, and I'm building off some of the animations I made in Photoshop from earlier videos. Links to the demos are below. I hope you learned something handy, and also, I'm definitely not an ex expert, so if there are better ways of doing something, or if there's something I definitely shouldn't be doing, uh, let me know in the comments. All right, so let's get started. So first off, let's just open After Effects right here, and we'll make a new composition. So we'll click on New Project, and then we'll make a new composition. And then, yeah, so in uh, VR, we need to make something one to two. So in this example, we have uh, for high res, we'll do some 4096. And then we need 4096, uh, but divided by two. So just like that. So 2048. Uh, I just want to make an animation that's a little only 30 seconds long. And all these presets are pretty good and already set up for YouTube. So we'll just keep them as is. And let's just name it something uh, descriptive. So I'll just call this um, After Effects VR Graphic Design Demo. And then we'll hit OK. All right, so here we see our uh, composition. So uh, first off, let's just put in the files that I made from last class and the files that we'll be using today in our demo. So I'll just go into my project tab right here. And again, if you don't see that, just make sure that uh, if you don't see it, just uh, open up in your window workspace right there. Uh, so we'll just go file, import, and then we'll import, yeah, multiple files. We have a few files to work with. So uh, I'll just be putting in um, these three files uh, right now, and then I'll just hit open, and there you have it. They're all there. So I'll just hit cancel, and that's great. All right, uh, so here you can see our timeline right here, and it goes all the way to 30 seconds. If you use this right here, then you, uh, then you can really scroll into and get closer frame by frame uh, into the into the timeline, and then uh, and then we'll be using the playhead to scrub forward and backwards. All right, so first off, let's just make a really simple uh, compile our tiles that we made from last class. So we'll just take our tile, uh, and you can see they're all three seconds long as it labeled that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start um, putting them onto the page. So from your project panel, just drag your um, tile down into the timeline right there. And then we will start repeating them and then uh, tiling it together. So I'm just going to use the align palette on our side. Um, if your workspace looks different, uh, just I'm just using the default workspace right here. And then you can click reset default save to save workout. And it should look something similar, uh, like what I just did there. And then align. And then we'll just put it to uh, composition. And then I'm just going to put it to very uh, top, so just in the top corner. And then now I'm just going to copy the whole thing over and over again, uh, all the way to reach across. And then I'll group those together in a pre-comp, and then I'll copy that, and then I'll uh, take it down the uh, the page. So uh, if you hit spacebar, then you can kind of see the animation playing from what we made uh, in our last video. So before we start tiling too, uh, something we can really do to make our life a lot easier to, uh, as we can see, this file only cycles once and then it's over, but we want it to take 30 seconds. So we'll need to repeat it 10 times. So we'll need to loop it 10 times. Uh, instead of copying and pasting and repeating it over and over again, uh, there's a really easy way to just loop uh, a video. So all we have to do is click right click up here, and then we'll go to interpret footage and then click main. And then we'll just keep all this as is, but down here, we'll just loop it 10 times. And that's it. And then you'll see that this goes all the way there. And then we can just drag that all the way up, just like that. Um, if you place it into the timeline now, uh, it'll just take up the whole thing too. So I can delete that one. And just like that. So uh, again, let's just align it to the top corner. And what we'll do here is just we'll uh, select this this layer, and then we'll just copy it and paste it. And then from there, we'll just move it right across. I'm just holding shift and bring it right across. And then I'm going to zoom in, uh, command or control plus, and then space bar to just pan over, and then just uh, move it uh, really nicely beside it right there. Um, yeah, so as close as you can get um, right there. Looks good. And then what I'm going to do, I'll zoom back out. And then I'm definitely going to hold shift and select two of these uh, layers, and then I will hit copy. 
and I'll hit paste again. And then while it's still selected, I'm just going to just drag it across and then uh, zoom in again, pan across, and then uh, just move everything uh, right next to each other, just like that. And then I'll just keep repeating that. Uh, with everything again. So I'll just take that. I'll zoom out. Uh, you can also just scroll uh, scroll down and then that can um, uh, zoom out as well. So select all these layers and then I'll just hit Command C. Uh, you can also do it up here as well. And then Command V or Edit Paste just like that. And then uh, and just keep those highlighted and then we'll just drag them right across just like that. All right, so I'm just going to keep making this row and I'm just going to have two more on the side. So I have a row of 10. That way I can have five down. Um, so I'm just going to take these two. I'm just going to copy it and paste it. And then I'm just, as they're selected, I will just move those along right there. So I'll zoom in again. And then I will just, uh, just nudge it forward with my arrow keys until they touch, just like that. And then I'll zoom back up. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take all of these and I'm just going to link it together. So I'm just going to base it off my first one, um, number 10. And then I'm just going to link all of these together uh, to number 10. So when I scale number 10 and uh, reduce the size, it'll become, uh, everything will come, will group together. Uh, if you see right now, and I just try to shrink everything, so I'll just select everything and then uh, shrink it. You'll see that they all sort of shrink from the middle and that's not what I want. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select everything and then I'm just going to link it to number 10 right there uh, under parent link. So now I can move these ones separately. And, uh, but if I just move the first one, then it all moves together in tandem. So I'll just move that and I'll just move it back to the uh, top corner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start shrinking it. So uh, the easiest way to do that is you, uh, you can pull in the corners right here and then just keep uh, resizing it just like that. Um, but you can also go into transform and just, uh, just, uh, pop tails of the layer down and then, and then just under transform, uh, you can just, uh, s slowly adjust these values. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I select number 10. I'm just going to zoom into the very end and I'm just going to, uh, really try to match this edge to the edge of the composition as best that I can. So um, right now, that's pretty close. And then uh, this is still selected and it's still linking to the composition. So I don't need to see it. Uh, but I know that now it's in the other end is at the corner. And then now I'm just going to uh, slowly adjust the values right here. So I'm going to try 81.7. Uh, still a little bit needs a little bit more. So maybe 81.8. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll just actually do 92. I think, I think that's about right, right there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Um, all right, so now what we can do is we can just group it all together in a pre-composition. So I'm just gonna zoom back out and then you can see right there, uh, it's all perfectly in a row and uh, these ends should tile. So that'll work really nicely for us. So now um, what I'm going to do is I want to just copy this row down uh, our composition. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to group all of this together. So I'm just going to select all the layers, hold shift, uh, go from the top to the bottom, and I'm just going to right click and I'm going to click pre-compose just like that. And then name it something specific and then I'm just going to name it row. And then it all comes together in a little, uh, into sort of one layer right there. So now if you double click it, then you can see that it go the row pops up into a new tab in your timeline panel. And then you can adjust these as you see fit, but uh, we're not going to adjust it anymore. So we're just going to close this window. And then what we're, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to copy and paste this one. And I'm just going to start moving it down the, down the composition, just like that. So again, just select both of them and then just hit copy and then paste. And then just as it keeps on getting selected, you just uh, cop select them all, copy it, and then paste it. So. And then we just need one more row. So um, let's just choose this one, copy it, paste, and then we'll just drag it down and that will be perfect. There we go, that looks great. And then if you want to uh, group all these together, just like we did the rows, you can just right click it and we'll just hit pre-compose again. And then we can call this um, full page, just like that. All right, so now we have all that done. And then if we hit play, you can see that it just uh, plays everything just like that. Oh, needs a bit to load. 
Uh, and then here you can just see how it just keeps going on, just like that. So if you want to, uh, you can actually export this to um, uh, VR to YouTube uh, right away. So if you want to do that, uh, you can just quickly go to export. And then I just go to add to Adobe Media Encoder right up here. And then that should open up Adobe Media Encoder. And I'll just show you the quick settings that uh, I use to... So we'll open Adobe Media Encoder and then we'll just wait till it pops into the queue. Just like that. And then there it is. Uh, right now it says um, VR uh, uh, this um, preset, uh, but you can actually, a lot of times it can just make sure it's like, even if you had something simple like uh, match source bitrate, the only, uh, which is pretty much the default for the media encoder. Uh, and I'm gonna turn off export audio because we don't have that at all. Uh, but all you have to do is under here in the video tab, you just have to scroll down and then just see, wait till you see videos VR and you just hit uh, VR there. And also remember to save it in the right location. So in this one, I'll uh, just save it to, I'll just save it in demo files right here. Uh, and then we just select again, highlight it, and then we just click the play icon. And then it will uh, encode and export as an MP4, which you can upload to YouTube. And then from there, you just have to wait until it gets um, processed. And then you'll have a VR video that looks something like this. Uh, you can see how there is a bit of distortion at the top. Uh, it real, things get really stretched out vertically. Uh, the distortion near in the middle is not so bad, but yeah, once you go down to the middle, uh, you get a lot of distortion. But all in all, that's a really easy way to create a VR for YouTube using After Effects.